Hey everybody, it's Verb Jr. here. I'm going to be learning Spanish using Duolingo. So let's go to Duolingo. Oh, so it says my 2020 report is ready. See how much you've learned in the past year. Let's see what it says. Well, it says I have a 14 day streak going. I have earned 17,376 total XP. I have 221 total crowns. I am in the Emerald League. So let's see the full report. 2020 Year in Review. You made Duo proud. Way to make the most of 2020 by sticking to your language goals. Take a look back at all you've learned. You made your days count spent with Spanish and German lessons. 39.3 million learners practice Spanish with you, making it our number two most popular language. 208 minutes, 306 words. Screen time well spent. You spent 208 minutes studying on Duolingo in 2020. And that time, you studied 306 words. I'm not going to sh- I am sharing, so. 1.30 p.m. You're a lunchtime learner. You usually practice Spanish with Duo around 13.30 earning you the title of lunchtime learner 695 progress through xp you earn 695 xp for the year landing you in the top 20 percent of duolingo learners well done i don't want to share except through twitch and later recorded media learning together you join millions on duolingo learning 39 languages in 195 countries you deserve a better 2021. Whether you want to be want to get ready for a trip or broaden your career opportunities, treat yourself to more learning in 2021. I got better at Spanish and German on Duolingo. I'm going to take a screenshot of that so I can share it later because I'm pretty proud of that actually. It's been a rough year. Okay, so thank you for the year in review. We got uh, six days left, seven days left in the year. I've got some achievements. Let's go over those. I have uh, not reached a 50 day streak. I have not earned 20,000 XP, but I have learned 2,000 new words in a single course. I have earned 100 crowns. I have not advanced to the Amethyst League yet. I am a sharp shooter. You completed 100 lessons with no mistakes. Conqueror. Earn one crown in every skill in a course. I'm working on that. Okay. I have read a tip. I have followed three friends. I have completed a lesson on Saturday and Sunday. And I added a profile picture. Which is not my normal profile picture, but let's look at it. Now, let's view the photo. There it is. It's me in a ghillie suit. Okay. Back to Espanol. I think I'm doing 2B still. Which is way down here someplace. There it is. 2B looks like level 0... Less than one, two, three. I'm going to say four. Let's look at my, uh, let's write that down. New note. Duolingo. To be level zero. Lesson four. Let's see how far I can get on this. I have five hearts. I didn't didn't complete my experience point goal yesterday. Just have a lot going on right now with the holidays and busy family life. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to keep doing what I can do. Okay. Level zero out of two. Lesson three of four. Start. Okay, I've read this about 50 times, and I'll probably read it a whole bunch more, so 
don't worry. I'm not going to read it now. I'm going to start the lesson. Carmen, too blank muy ocupada. Carmen, you are very busy. Let's see. Is it ser? Uh, it's temporary. I can't rather remember if that's astan or soy. But I think it's astan, and so I'm going to say estas. Carmen, tu estas muy ocupada. Woo, I did it. Nosotras somos morenas. Nosotras estamos cansadas. Nosotras somos morenas. Nosotras estamos cansadas. Nosotras somos, somos morenas. morenas. Nosotros Nosotras estamos, estamos cansadas. cansadas. I don't know what morenas means. So it means we are something and we are tired. Let's check. We are dark haired. Oh. And we are tired. Yeah, I used to be dark haired, but now I'm gray. They are in the restaurant. The restaurant is expensive. Ellos. They are in. Let's see. Let's talk about ser versus estar. Use forms of ser for descriptions of people and things. Use forms of estar for temporary states of being and locations. Okay. Oops. Ellos. Están en el restaurante. No, it's going to be a sta. I think it's going to have an accent. We'll try this. El restaurante. Let's look at the tip again. S. It's going to be S. Es caro. The restaurant is expensive. Ellos está en el restaurante. El restaurante es caro. Let's see. No. Están. I was right the first time. Dang it. But I was right about the accent. Okay, so we got four hearts left. Let's see if we can get it. Yo blank en la biblioteca. Yo blank maestro. I am in the in the library. I am the teacher. Estoy. That's temporary. Yo estoy en la biblioteca. And yo soy maestro. Soy. Woo! One in a row. All right. <laughs> she is my mom. Ella. And I don't know. Ella muy enojada. Ella están muy enojada. Ella es mi madre. Ella están muy enojada. Yeah, I was right about the first one. But not about the second one. Ella está muy enojada. Okay, three hearts left. Donde blank las chicas? Where are the chicks? Donde están las chicas? Thank you. Whew. Complete the trans. This is really hard for me. I've like breezed through a lot of this stuff, but this is hard. Complete, and I don't think this is in here the last time I was actively using Duolingo. Like, I used it for, like, two years while I was working in security at Huntsman Cancer Institute. Complete the translation. They are American. They are tired. Ellos son Americanos. Ellos es... I think that's, that's right. Let's check. I'm going to say Ellos están for the second one. Ellos son Americanos. Ellos 
Estan Gonzalez. I did it. I didn't have any confidence that I got that right. <sighs> okay. Ellos son americanos. Ellos están cansados. Mi guitarra es importante. Es. ¿Dónde está mi guitarra? Mi guitarra es importante. ¿Dónde está mi guitarra? Está. Yes. Three to row. ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Where is the library? I wonder if people actually talk like that in Espanol. I mean, if I use the same inflection, I should, probably should use the same kind of inflection in Spanish as I do in English. Would that make sense? Yo no soy rubio. Yes, I think that's five in a row. Keep it up. 289,793 other learners are practicing Spanish with you. Complete the translation. We are in the city. Nosotros somos en la ciudad. And no, I'm going to say estamos. Because it's temporary. Nosotros estamos en la ciudad. Nosotros somos elegantes. I did it. I'm proud of myself. Blank en la estación de metro. Estamos, Estamos. en la estación de metro. Somos, somos. En México. Estamos en la estación de metro. Somos de México. We are from Mexico. Ellos están preocupados. Ellos son inteligentes. Ellos. Ellos están preocupados. Ellos son inteligentes. Ellos están preocupados. Ellos son inteligentes. Inteligentes. Ellos están preocupados. Ellos son inteligentes. Now listen to it one more time. Ellos están preocupados. Ellos son inteligentes. They are worried. They are intelligent. <laughs> they should be worried, I guess. They are dark-haired. Ellos... Son morenos. Ellos son morenos. Pedro... Están triste hoy. Está. Say, so I screwed that up, but that's okay. Pedro están triste hoy. Porque tú abo. Porque tú está estás aburrido hoy. Oh, I got the accent day wrong. Okay. Usted blank en la fiesta. Usted blank divertida. Usted. You. Está. Está. En la fiesta. You are in the party. Usted es divertida. Es. You are fun. You are at the party. Carmen and Maria are studious. Carmen y Maria Dang it, I don't know how to conjugate to be very well. Probably gonna fail this lesson. Carmen and Maria are studious. They are at school. Carmen y Maria blank estudia estudiosas. AS blank en la escuela. Esta En la escuela. Carmen y Maria. Eris. I guess. I don't know. Son. Okay, son. I screwed it up. I got one heart left. Let's see how I do. They are in the restaurant. Ellos. 
blank are in the restaurant. They are in El Restaurante. Oh, I can't remember how to conjugate it. It's very frustrating for me. Ellos están en el restaurante. El restaurante es caro. Yeah, I think that's it. Yes. Ellos están en el restaurante. El restaurante es caro. She is my mom. Ella es mi madre. Ella. Esta. I'm guessing. Esta. Muy enojada. Yes! Maybe I can sneak through this. Pedro is sad to do it today. Pedro. Esta triste hoy. Yes! Let me get this right, please. Carmen and Maria are studious. They are at school. Carmen and Maria... Dang it, I don't remember. Carmen y Maria son estudiosas. Ellas estas en la escuela. No, I'm out of hearts. It's a stun. Dang it. Okay. Well, I failed. But I tried. Very frustrating. No thanks. Quit. Advertising helps fund Duolingo's mission. Feeling kind of bummed out about that. But I'm not going to give up. Select the correct translation. She eats sang sandwiches. I'm going to do some practice. Because apparently I need it. She eats sandwiches. Ella come sandwiches. Nosotros comemos aquí. Nosotros comemos aquí. We... Eat here. Nosotros comemos aquí. Select the correct translation. We work here. Nosotros trabajamos aquí. Nosotros trabajamos en una escuela. Nosotros trabajamos en una escuela. We work at a school. They are learning little. Ellos, Ellos aprenden, aprenden poco. poco. They are learning little. Ellos aprenden poco. I feel like that. Awesome, you're working hard and learning new words. Él no quiere leer este periódico. Él no quiere leer este periódico. He does not want to read this newspaper. El no quiere leer este periódico. He does not want to read this newspaper. We want to live in England. Queremos. Queremos. Ab Abrimos. Nope. Abrimos. Vivir. Vivir. Queremos vivir en Inglaterra. En Inglaterra. 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 Queremos vivir en Inglaterra. We want to live in England. Ella come sandwiches. Ella 
Ella come sandwiches. You talk a lot. Tú hablas mucho. Hablas mucho. Tú hablas mucho. Ellas necesitan leer este mensaje. Yes. Ellas. Ellas necesitan leer este mensaje. Leer. Ellas necesitan leer este mensaje. Este mensaje. Este mensaje. They need to read this message. Ellas necesitan leer este mensaje. Outstanding, ten in a row. Carmen necesita escribir un mensaje. Carmen needs to read a message. To write a message. Nosotros comemos aquí. Nosotros, Nosotros comemos, comemos aquí. We eat here. Ellos quieren vivir en Francia. Ellos quieren vivir en Francia. They want to live in France. Great work. Let's make this harder. Okay, screw you, duo. Just let me do it. Don't make it harder. They are learning at school. Ellos... Aprenden en escuela. En la escuela. Ellas aprenden en la escuela. I was going to say en la escuela. Looks like people are home. Are you sure about that? All progress was in this lesson will be lost. Cancel. Okay. En la escuela. Here's a tip. In English, we say at school or at work. In Spanish, you say at the school or at the work. Jorge está aburrido en la escuela. See, so yeah, I had a teacher. His name was... Papa's back. Hey, Mabel. I'm streaming my Duolingo lesson. I gotta watch her. Somebody's watching me. Really? Mm-hmm. We have viewers in in chat, users in chat. Another t another T TV viewer. Casino thanks. Droop dog with three G's. Industrial parasite and let's do this music. I will check out your channels later. Thank you for joining me. Okay. Continue. Was this stuff helpful? I guess so. But it's kind of stupid. I should just say that. Translate this sentence. You speak English. Tu... Have you seen my pencil? Uh, hablas... English. I spelled it wrong. Okay. Did you guys get everything you needed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Translate this sentence. They are learning at school. A S aprenden en la escuela. You speak English. Tu hablas es oh, inglés. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have time for today. Thank you for joining me. Bye.